Denny, if I told you Antonio Brown was signing with the Bucks, are there four words that come to mind? <laughs> can See, we can we get them? Yeah, Tom Brady sleeves. No, 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 no. No, imagine you sitting on a couch watching it happening. What does Denny say? Thanks. I hate it. Thanks. Uh, thanks. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I am like addicted to that video. Uh, I love it. I, I, I was trying to tee you up for it, but I'm uh, sorry. I, I, you know, I have a lot of four word phrases that I use, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thanks. I hate it. Antonio Brown to the Bucks. I hate it. I, I hate, hate it. it. I hate it. I, I hate it so much. I hate it for at least 15 reasons. Yeah. No, but thanks. But, but we do hate it. We, we, do we absolutely it. hate it on every level. <laughs> Uh, how are you doing, man? We haven't done a, a show in a while. We're already deep into the season here. Uh, it's good to talk to you again. I know, man. I've I've missed uh, Mensa. I missed uh, you know last year at this time we were doing a, a weekly a weekly video together, and now every time I uh, you know I watch you on a stream, you're winning forty thousand dollars. So <laughs> it's it's a step up for you. No, 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 Denny, don't sell yourself short. You had a big DFS hit as well. I mean, the Mensa boys have been crushing. <laughs> That's that's true. That's true. It, yes, we've we've gone on to actually making money, which you know, it's not it's not the worst thing. The greatest bit ever, actually winning money while playing the sport we spend all of our time thinking about. It makes too much sense. It's such a it's it's a it's a better bit than not making money. Is the you know is what I would say about that. It is. I know. I how, how did uh um Mel, uh Melissa feel about that once she heard about your big DFS one? Okay, so um. I've had, I've had two uh, DFS big DFS wins at least to my standards uh, over the past few months. One was in basketball, as you know. I'm an I'm an NBA. Fan. Wait, did I miss your NBA bink? I, I think you did. Yeah, uh, you didn't say anything about it, so I guess I know. must have missed it because I would have been all over the NBA <laughs> thought leader. What was that one? Uh, I, I I won uh, I won a thousand bucks in a single game contest. Hell yeah! All right, for one dollar. Okay, so you know it, it. It was it was it was good for me. Uh, anyway, uh, so I. But that that night, I told Melissa. I said, I have something. I have something going here. Like, like it's it's happening. And she was like, Okay, I'm going to bed. Okay. <laughs> I was like, No, are you? But I mean, I didn't expect her to stay up. But I was like, Are you? You don't think? Happen like you have no confidence in it. She was yeah. Like, I mean, you've said that before. I was like, Yeah, but no, this is different. And then so. So after she said that, she goes, and I immediately look at the app, and it goes from a thousand to eight dollars. <laughs> and okay, right, right after that, and I was like, damn it, yeah. damn it, damn it, she was right. But then it climbed back up to uh, to to a grand, and uh, I was very happy about that. And the same thing happened with with football. It, um, I I told her what was happening, and she was like, that's nice, honey. It know. is that is the hard balance. I've I've had that with Lauren too, where you want like someone to share in your excitement with you, but you also realize how fragile it is and that it could quickly and you're telling them like, hey, I could win, I could win thousands of dollars here, but I could also in an instant be losing money on this slate. How do you tell that story? That's a tough one. It is, it is, especially as you're talking, it's bouncing around. In, ba in basketball, at least. I, I know you're not familiar with basketball. Maybe I can teach you sometime, but um, it, it, it bounces around so much cause it's fast paced game. Yeah. So, uh, for everyone tuning in, Denny and I just wanted to have a little, uh, hang out and chill. And I, uh, I couldn't believe our fortune, the serendipitous fortune here on underdog battle Royale pumpkin spice. It's like they knew we were going to be doing this show, Denny. I, I actually was like, you know, cause TJ Hernandez tweeted about this today. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what's going on? Like, did Pete set up like a like a, <laughs> a contest just for me? This is very nice. Denny's narcissism kicks in and he's like, they organized a tournament for me tonight. That's right. They're trolling me with pumpkin. And for those of you who don't know, I, I, I'm not a fan of pumpkin spice. Uh, and, and so I'm, I'm thinking, oh, that's that's really the whole site arranged a tournament for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is very true. Just to trigger Denny. Uh, so what did you end up signing up? Do you want to try to hop in these individually or you want to draft together? What are you thinking? Um, yeah, I signed up. I, I am signed up. Uh, I mean, do you want to just 
I can jump into the pumpkin spice uh, battle <laughs> royale. Yeah. So the thing is, is I know we got a decent amount of people watching right now. My worry is we all try to sign up at the same time and then you don't get in, but a bunch of people watching get in. That's yeah. my only concern. I can, I, uh, with one click of, uh, of, of my mouse here, I can, I can get in. So, I'm good. so do we need to tell everyone, let Danny and I register first and then you two can get in because these are small six man drafts. They're just six rounds, right. six oh. man drafts. So do you, are we going to do this, Danny? Should we do it? Uh, are you, do you have your finger on the, on the trigger? I'm ready. I'm one click away. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Denny, tell me you're in. Tell me what's your username, Denny? Uh, CD Carter 13. Okay. All right. I think we got in. I think we did it. I'm, I'm in. All right. Denny, ha what, have you brought that bit, bit back? I'm in. I'm in. Uh, you, you know, sometimes I remember it in the morning, uh, but I, I need to, I need to, yeah, I need to bring that back because I, I have a, a lot of new followers, uh, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, and, and I need to expose them to the longest running uh, bit that I have. All right, Danny, you drew the 101 here. Okay. Now, are are you going to get lulled in to the ADP that says you should pick a quarterback? Or are you going to channel your inner JJ and grab a skill position player here? I mean, I feel like with, you know, with the Saints being down uh, to Traquan Smith as their uh, number one wide or, or actually it would be Callaway's their number one wide receiver, I think. I'm kidding, but uh, uh, it feels like Kamara. Kamara is like a thir thirty touch guy this week against Carolina. Yeah, um, yeah, he's going to be an absolute smash. I feel like I need to go in that direction, which is which is very it's it's that's a high testosterone move for me. But I think I'm going to go in that direction. Yes. All right, do it, Alvin Kamara. I agree. I think he's the best best play on the week right now. Um, let's see here. Let me check in on the chat. Everyone wants to talk about the Bucks. What do you think AB signing will do to Mike how, Evans and Godwin? I, I don't know. How do you, how do you, how do you select? Wait, Denny, are you not going to tell? You put a star next to it or just click the name and then hit draft. Okay. I, I put a star. I put a star. Okay. The star will work. The star will work. Okay, good. Okay. Um, but future, you just click and then their name, a player card expands. See on the board here. Okay. And then yeah. there'll be a draft button when you're, right. when you're up. I see that. This is my first time ever drafting a fantasy football team of any kind. So. Yeah. Recif in the chat, he's upset at you. He says, Denny touts Adams all season and then drafts Kamara. As if your season-long touts have to match up to your week <laughs> seven touts. <laughs> also, the Packers are going to run it 43 times against the Texans. <laughs> oh, my. You can't win. You can't win with these guys, Denny. Um. All right. So we got Kamara. We got Hunt going. Now some of these guys biting the bullet on these. I mean, the quarterbacks are good plays, but I just don't think you should be taking them this early in this format. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins goes, you know what? I think I am going to take Devonte Adams now just because Aaron Jones looks pretty questionable. Yeah, right. He's on, he's, he's questionable rather than doubtful according to Matt LaFleur. Yeah. Um, you know, Hopkins is a weird pick. I feel like at, at, at five, I, I, I don't know about that. I mean, he's probably going to play, but he's, he's pretty banged up. I know the more I was reading about it, even Cliff Kingsbury made it seem like he was kind of skeptical. Uh, and people forget that you do work for Roto world. So, you know, the, this news. That's right. Yeah. And I, I wrote the blurb, I literally <laughs> wrote the blurb on DeAndre Hopkins, uh, on, uh, on Cl uh, Cliff saying, uh, he's hopeful, hopeful. I mean, Hopeful is not the best word, I think. Deddy, is that the is that the micro content equivalent of he wrote the book? Literally, he wrote the book on Lyndon B. Johnson. Well, Denny wrote the blurb on DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> That's right. I you know. Um, I am going Adams and Kelsey here. Uh, just with a six round draft. Uh, I do like having that uh that hammer at tight end. Just tight end gets pretty weak after Kelsey and Kittle. So I'm gonna Went ahead and grabbed my wide receiver tight end like a true zero RB boy, not like Denny over here, this okay. high testosterone running back drafter. Look, Pete, I've been watching a lot of film lately, <laughs> um, and what I see on film is that Alvin Kamara is good. And, you know, I, I can't ignore that. There you go. You know, he is like, I mean, it, Arda, all their wide receivers are like, it, they just put Emmanuel Sanders on the IR? Yes. 
Yeah. So this is like uh, it, Alvin Kamara is going to get 40 touches or would you say more in like the 45 range? Right. Right. Exactly. I mean, Latavius Murray could see a ton too. Um, yeah. No, he's on the COVID list. Emmanuel Sanders, by the way. All right. I'm up. Um, Denny is up. All right. Well, I do think, I, I do think that it's time for a receiver. Mm -hmm. Uh Oh, we, we, we lost it. Oh, there he is. Dad called. <laughs> your, your dad called. All right. I'm, I, I have it started. I have it started. So don't worry. Okay. Denny really, really milking the clock here. Kenny Galladay. I like yeah. it. Yes. I mean, you know, it, it, it doesn't get much better. Oh, I'm up again. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Um, you know what? I'm taking a QB. I'm taking Kyler. Okay. I like it. That game. Are you excited for this Sunday night football main slate hammer? Yeah. I saw your tweet about uh, how you're going to talk yourself into what, what, who was it? Uh, Trent Sherfield. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. By the, by the time uh, kickoff comes on Sunday night. Yeah. And I had to, the day before I took a page out of your meme generator playbook, I couldn't go Skywriter because that's more your territory. So I was furiously searching for billboard meme generator. And, uh, we got that one off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. That's, that's how I found the skywriting thing. I was just like skywriting meme generator. I'm yeah. Kidding. This is, we're telling you how the meme sausage gets made, whatever you want. I think I've, I've searched birthday cake meme generator before. There's a lot of them out there, Denny. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I love, I love that. I love the, I love any sign, you know, generator. Um, I, I'm not very good with meme. That's the thing, you know. If I'm going to be honest with everybody, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that good with memes. But when I, when I have, I now, I now think in memes. So then I have to look for the thing I'm, you know, I'm thinking of, uh, which, which is always pretty difficult. All right, you're up, you're up, Pete. All right, um, I am going to take. Patrick Mahomes to just stack up with Kelsey here. I think it's a decent spot. Yeah. Um, and then, you know what? I think I want access to this game too. So I think I'm going to go Mahomes and lock it. Uh, I just want a piece of that game. I mean, I want to be sweating my pumpkin spice teams at 11 PM Eastern <laughs> while the right. West coasters are just waking up to watch. That's right. That's right. There we go. Um, but now is that, that see, I'm a true zero RB boy, even in the pumpkin spice drafts. You really are. I mean, you're very, you're very committed. I, you know, I respect it. I respect it. I, I wish that I could have been as pure. Yeah. We've, we've lost our ways here. Let's see. Watching from a brewery, eating pretzels and drinking a nice barrel aged stout. Nick, I'm sure whoever you're with just loves you watching this stream right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're with you know, if you're with someone on a date or something, please, yeah. for the love of God, log off. Yeah. My wife almost left me watching a Denny Periscope where he just sat silent for a minute straight. So trust me, it could get hard out there. <laughs> yeah, I did that. It was about 40 seconds because I, I was like, <laughs> all right, let's talk about kickers. And Pete, no one wanted to talk about kickers. No. Yeah. What is the kicker uh, attention economy like these days? Um, it's not great. <laughs> It's not, it's not the best it, in this economy. It's not good for sure. Um, uh, mostly I have people asking me non-football related questions when I'm like, I'm like, give me your kicker questions. Like <laughs> borderline plays, like who's on the waiver wire. Okay. Nope. I'll ask you a kicker question. What's the deal with Joey Sly? Because I mm -hmm. had him on some teams and then it seemed like he wasn't going to play, but now he's questionable. What's the deal with my guy Sly? With your guys. Oh, sorry. I'll let you. Yeah. I'll let you pick here. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to continue high T. I'm taking Chris Carson. I like it. Who I think is an underrated player in this in the, in that crazy game, and he's kind of he correlates with Kyler. Um, and then oh shh, I, I, I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a plan. Uh, we're going, we're going with Robbie Anderson. We're going, okay. I, I, I like I, that. I love, I love that matchup. And, and he correlates with Kamara. So it works. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth, Danny. That's what they say. That's right. Okay. So back to Joey Sly. So you've never been so excited to talk about something. So <laughs> it's Joey Sly. <laughs> listen, 
Joey Sly is on the COVID list. He didn't have COVID, but, you know, I, I guess he was exposed to someone who did have it. Uh, the libs made him go on the COVID list. And then <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, come, he's actually, I, I believe, expected to kick uh, for the Panthers this weekend. They're still going to have a tryout, I think, for another kicker. But that just seems kind of silly at this point. And I, I think that he's, he's probably solid for the rest of the year. There you go. You heard it here first. Denny is staying the course with Joey Sly. No other stream is going to get this deep on plays here for you guys. All right. I am on the clock here. Let's see. I believe I only need one running back. I really want Terry McLaurin this week. Um, yeah, you're into McLaurin big time. I, I understand. Yeah, I everything just sets up for him this week. And then I do, unfortunately, have to take a running back. It, the system, oh, will the system let me take? No, I do have to take a running back, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take James Conner. I think it's a pretty, pretty decent matchup here All against right. the Titans. Uh, how many receivers are we allowed to take? You can take up to three. Up to three. So I have Anderson and Galladay. Every time I say Anderson, I think of uh, the Matrix. Yeah. Mr. Anderson. Um, <laughs> all right. Actually, you know what? I, I don't want to miss that. And I'm not going to give it away because I don't want, you know, any, if anybody's listening, uh, who's listening is, is drafting. I don't want to give away my position. But I have a play in mind who I think his his matchup actually got better today. Okay, so Tana, you are on the clock. Mr. Irrelevant, who is it, Denny? I'm taking Hunter G. Henry the Eighth. There it is. There it is. I like and uh I like that call. What give us the the Roto World? Uh yeah. how did his matchup get better? All right. So Miles Jack is out this week with an ankle, mm -hmm. right? And he probably is gonna miss more than more than this week. Uh every time Jack has missed time. Uh, this year, whether it's just for part of a game or a whole game, the Jacksonville linebackers have been terrible in coverage against uh, tight ends and running backs. Um, so, and, and, and I, and I, and I by the way, this is not a film take. This is actually just looking at the PFF numbers. So um, uh, yeah. So I, I, I think Hunter Henry's matchup got, got that much better today. There you go. Uh, to everyone tuning in, because Pat Thorman just retweeted it, you are about to be disappointed. Uh, but thank you, Pat. We love you. Uh, sports uh, Genuzel? Sports Genuzel? Uh, he wants to know, who's the best kicker, and why is he bespectacled? Even I get this reference, Denny. Yeah, right. We're talking about Rodrigo Goatenship. Do you? And I, I have to make a confession, Denny. I enjoy playing kickers. I enjoy that thing, but I can't carry two through a bye week. I can't no. do it. No, you shouldn't. No, and, and, and that's the thing. I was I was telling people on the uh, Living the Stream podcast the other day. Don't please do not do not hold on to Blankenship. I, I guess unless you're in like an 18 league or something, <laughs> you know, whatever. But um, and and here I am being smug again. Now. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, in a 12 team league, there's really no reason, but you know, people get really attached to kickers because, uh, they're, they're very superstitious about it yeah. Be because it's like a, it's like a mysterious thing, you know, kicker scoring, like who, who can predict it? Like it's the most unpredictable. And of course that's not true, but when, when you hit on someone who is delivering consistently like Blankenship, people will hold on. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm right there with you. Um, let's see here. Finally, something good happening this week for a hunter. We should not get political on this stream, Daddy. We should not. I refuse. And <laughs> there, unless there are pictures of Hunter Henry uh, during a bender, at, the, at that point, you know, I think we, we, we need to. Yeah. Oh, wow. Two T's coming in strong. Denny, you're dropping Justin Tucker. He's saying no way Denny's dropping Justin Tucker. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I would. If I if I had Justin Tucker, this week, <laughs> I'm, I'm dropping him. I'm dropping him for a running back because you see my teams are very running back needy. I, yeah, I, ha I have to say, Pete, I, I'm I'm extremely regretful on not being in, in redraft, not being more aggressive on uh, Perrine 
in, in New York and Hasty in San yeah. Francisco. I, I was not aggressive enough. The one thing about the P Ryan, or no, sorry, I actually like the P Ryan. Sorry. Yeah, I do. I I work for another blurb site that focuses on phonetic pronunciations, and so I do know that it's P Ryan. Uh, the only thing about the Hasty is Jeff Wilson. I think is going to be back this week, right? And then they they're even saying Tevin Coleman could be back soon. Yeah, I still think he could be a good spot start, but like. I don't know. You're always kind of clackety clacking with that San Francisco backfield. Exactly. That's a good way of saying it. Clackety clacking for sure. Um, I legitimately have a league where Young Ho Koo is being traded for Andy Dalton. I like that. Is it? Is this like a two kicker league? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what is that? Um, yeah, another another guy I, I was not aggressive on in zero. You know, in my on my zero RB teams. Which was all of them was 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 Justin Jackson, man. I I did not get I didn't get crazy on Justin Jackson in the bidding process. Yeah, and he looked like I thought it was going to be Kelly, like sixty forty leading that, and it's like Justin Jackson is Austin Eckler, and Joshua Kelly hasn't changed. I yeah, I was I was horrified to see Justin Jackson's usage uh, last or was it last week against the Saints? Yeah, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And well, yeah, I, I hate it. I, thanks, I hate it. Honestly, th- thank you, Anthony Lynn. But we do, in fact, hate it. That was the thing that was kind of um, hard to suss out about that situation because it's like, all right, the team has Eckler, and they have Joshua Kelly. They've already kind of told us that they prefer Joshua Kelly to Jackson because right. he's playing ahead of him. So then Eckler goes down. You just assume Joshua Kelly gets promoted. But these teams, and we see it right with the Meikle Hardman thing and Demarcus Robinson. It's like the team says, no, he is Tyree Kills backup. And Demarcus Robinson is Sammy Watkins. They're just saying Justin Jackson is Austin Eckler's backup and nothing is going to change. That's right. That's right. I, I And trust me, I take no pleasure in acknowledging that <laughs> the KC thing is what it is. Like, you know, Hardman is probably not going to be a thing as long as, as, as Watkins is out. And, and Demarcus Robinson is definitely the better fantasy option. But yeah, uh, um, Anthony Lynn said a few days before the game against New Orleans, he said, we want to get Justin Jackson more involved. And I just took that as coach speak. Just be, just especially with a rookie. You know how coaches are so weird with rookie running backs? Yeah. And, you know, they, they, they don't want to give them any credit or any due – they just want to. They want to make them work for everything. They bench them if they fumble, whatever. Uh, so I'm thinking, okay, he's just trying to like uh, dig into Josh Kelly to be like, you don't have this thing locked down, kid. <laughs> uh, but it, but it was it, he was actually telling the truth, which I'm not used to with with head coaches. And and Justin Jackson has got a what 65 35 split or something like that. Yeah, I mean, even based on Justin Jackson's. Twitter, I'm worried that we're getting too political just talking about Justin Jackson, Denny. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I, I feel doubly bad about not getting Justin Jackson because my politics align perfectly with his. Okay. And yeah. and and I and I still didn't didn't uh you know get aggressive. And honestly, with in the in the leagues, you know, especially leagues with like a lot of experienced fantasy writers and analysts. I mean, you have to get absolutely crazy on the on with your uh, with your fab budget, right? Yeah. I mean, you you can if you want a guy, you have to go all in. You can't, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think of a polite word to say, but uh, you know, you you you, you can say those words on this stream. There there are no censors here. Oh no, I, I just yeah, I just don't want to. So the <laughs> uh, you you can't be low T. You have to be super high T in the in the way you bid on these players, and and you know who. <laughs> I bid on the freaking Browns running backs instead, which was... Just- I know. Dearness Johnson, the ultimate trap. God, he was a trap. Um. Oh, I was going to ask you. You were talking about industry leagues. Uh, I always enjoy following along with the Apex draft. What's the... Uh, how's that league shaking out? Um, I'm not needling you. I legitimately don't know. No, no, no. I know. I know. Uh, yeah. So I've never had a worse season. Uh, in the Apex League, and it's because mostly because uh, I didn't hit on any of the zero RB guys. Yeah, uh, and I lost Julio and I lost AJ Brown for 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 a bit there. Yeah, and without those guys, I I just I had no ceiling. Like I yeah. had a little bit of a floor, but I had no ceiling. I have 
you know, DeAndre Hopkins, Julio, AJ Brown, and Will Fuller on that team. Yeah, that's a nice right. core going forward. And Deion, and and, and Devonte Parker. Yeah. Uh, you know, so those are my first five picks in, in, in that draft. And I did so, you know, the combination of 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 the zero RB injuries, which is, you know, borderline a consp- conspiracy against the strategy, <laughs> uh, and then not hitting on any um late round running backs it was it's been rough yeah we it's funny you say that because uh i did a zero rb ffpc team with pat and then hassan raheem and blair andrews over at rotoviz and we had similar injury woes to start out you know kenny galladay julio jones aj brown and we're sitting here being like is this a joke like what is going on but now we're just putting up monster totals because we have all those guys we have george kittle we have kyler murray and we also have deandre swift and darrell henderson so like the team, the thing about those zero RB teams, right, is like they're almost by design. They start slow, but they can get strong really fast. But you're saying you might be in too big of a hole. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm like uh, I'm like two games out of a, a playoff spot, so I'm not I'm not to- I'm not out of it. And I'm and I'm honestly, I am more committed uh, to making the playoffs in, in that league than I am than I have ever been in any league because I, I want to turn this thing around so badly. And I, you know, I have Jamal Williams. He might get a start this week if Aaron Jones is out. Um, you know, I, I really unfortunately dropped Boston Scott three weeks ago. I did the same. I mean, come on like that. That's such a, but the thing is, it's like, I, from a, Denny, do we have to TTP trust the process here? I mean, Boston Scott wasn't catching passes. He didn't have like any, you know, role in that offense. And it, it he was just a hard hold. He was. And, and he was clogging up my, my bench. Like I, like I actually needed that spot to fill in a lineup at one point because I had so many injuries, uh, you know, like I just, I just had to, I had to let him go. And uh, so I didn't, I didn't have that luxury. You know, I guess I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, watching him, watching him have a good game last night was really rough. I, I, I do, I do have Boston Scott and Scott Fishbowl, so it made me feel a little bit better. But the Boston Scott Fishbowl, of course. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. you yeah. want to draft uh, another pumpkin spice team here? Uh, sure. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me know when your finger is on the trigger. All right. Let me, let me get back. Okay. Um. All right. I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, yes. Oh, Pete, oh. I messed up. No, 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 get in, Denny. Tell me you got in. Yeah, I think I did. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no, Denny. Is Denny in? I yes, don't. I'm in. I'm in. Denny, I don't think you're in mine. <laughs> Dang, really? No. Uh, you're... Okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the draft. I'm leaving. Okay, leave it, leave it, leave it. Yeah, save your money. I will do this. We will do this draft together, Denny. Okay. Sorry about that. You know, I, I went to go click on on yes or whatever that second prompt is, and I misclicked, and it went away. Denny, how many Natty Lights have you had tonight? Uh, first of all, I'm drinking Miller. Okay. So Because it's payday. Uh, Let's see. Denny, both this podcast is sponsored by both Coors Light and Miller Light, two competing. That's, uh, that's right. You know, People hate us for our light beer love, man. Look, uh, I don't know if that's the way sponsorships work. <laughs> where, where two two competitors sponsor the same thing. But. I think that's how it works on here, man. I mean, I, I, this is what I told them. Like, I got on the phone with this PR rep from Coors Light and Miller Light, and I said, guys, a rising tide lifts all boats. We are under siege from these IPA elitists. If we need to band together and promote all light beers. And they said, you know what? You're right. Let's do it. That's right. We need to promote the people's beer made by corporate Goliaths. <laughs> hey, God, Denny, we have been owned so hard. Competing, they're the same company I work there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. every You know what, though? Everything is owned by the same two or three companies, right? Everything. Oh, man, Denny, that was, that was tough for us. Uh... <laughs> competitors there's there are no competitors it's a monopoly that's right everything is everything is a monopoly we are getting so mansplained in the chat right now miller is just a brand it is molson coors oh man look we're on the same team i knew the sponsorship would work out stop stop mansplaining me okay (laughs) all right kamara goes hunt goes 
Devonte Adam goes. Ezekiel Elliott goes. Uh huh. Um, we are going to be on the clock here in a sec. Wow, that, DK Metcalf goes. That's a bad pick. The, the 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 Zeke pick is not good. The Zeke pick. Yeah, I mean, all right. We got we have we have more pressing matters here. Um what do you what do you think? I, I do like getting Kelsey here as one of the two picks. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I can't really see too well, like the, the, it's, it's very small. But um, uh, who who's which wide receivers are available? So we got Hopkins is still available, uh, and Calvin Ridley is still available. Mike Davis is still available. I almost lean Ridley and just like not yeah. dealing with the Hopkins situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I like Ridley. Yes, over over Hopkins. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. I guess we could have stacked up Mahomes right there, but I'd rather wait on QB in this in this format here. Um, it is true, despite uh, us not having a firm grasp on uh, which corporations are or- owned by other corporations, we are still unowned, Denny. No, I mean, the streak is alive. Mm-hmm. I, I have been unowned online for eight years. I wait. appreciate it. You know. There is so much owning going on, so much. Now he says they're owned by the Shined Heart Wig Company, actually. <laughs> Dude, I, well, I, I, I'll believe me. anything these guys in the chat say, Denny. I haven't. This is this is the most I've learned about the beer industry in my life. <laughs> I know. It's such an education. How many, how many Miller Lights are you deep? Uh, two. Exactly okay. two. All right. I... Uh, I had to go fold some laundry before this stream and uh, you had sent me a message that you were going to drink six Natty Lights before the stream. And so I was like, shit, I need to start drinking to stay on Denny's level. So I carry a Coors Light up to the to the, to the, to the bedroom and I fully laundry and Lauren goes like, is this a laundry beer? And I'm like, yes, it is a laundry beer. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really sorry. I was exaggerating. Pete, if I had six, I, I would not be able to do the stream. <laughs> I, would, I would be asleep on this couch right here. Um, I don't, yeah, I was, I didn't take you completely literally, but I did imagine you chugging a few drinks before. And I was like, I need to have a laundry beer to keep up. Yeah, I did one. So I was on my Roto world shift and, you know, to my employers at NBC, I, I do not consume alcohol on the job. Yes. I need to clarify this because I have said this on a couple of straight. I didn't say I'm stopping drinking. I'm saying I'm curtailing it. The thing is, is I've been doing all of these shows and it's fun to have a few drinks when you're talking with your buddies about fantasy football. This is what I've done. I've scaled back Wednesday nights. I do a couple of shows at night. So I like drinking then. And then it's the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday are fair game. I have scaled back. I'm not drinking on Monday. I'm not drinking on Tuesday. And I'm not drinking on Thursday. Is that not a fair compromise, Denny? I think that is totally fair. And I make the same deals with myself, which, <laughs> kind, which kind of worry me. But, you know, I it's, it's fine. You know, here's the thing, Pete. Uh, people forget we're in a pandemic. So we are. You, you can do that. You can drink excessively to the point of worrying about your own health. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to do this. Um, all right, Denny, I'm just going to grab Kyler here because I think I like this yeah. game a lot, but I'm a little torn here. I did throw Lockett in the queue. I'm not married on it. We could take the plunge on Aaron Jones in the third round. There might be some value there. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Um... We could also get a share of digs. Really nice matchup. I yeah, don't think we so. want to get Tyreek without Mahomes. No, no, no. Wait, I, no, Mahomes is here too, so we could stack oh, up Chelsea. Yes, I think that's the move. I think Mahomes and... Sorry, we already took Kyler, so I just forgot. Uh, I messed that up. <laughs> I was too busy talking about how I'm not drinking as much, but I'm actually too buzzed to make that decision is what My happened bad. there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I, I will leave this up to you. Uh, yeah, it's done. It's done. We have Kyler, Calvin Ridley, Tyler Lockett, and Travis Kelsey. I can live with that, Denny. I can, I, I can definitely live with it. Um, would you mind if I grab a beer real quick? No, please do, Denny. Is uh, everyone's shaming me for not scaling back? It's yeah. time for Denny to not scale back his drinking. Go get a beer. That's I'll, right. I'll hold down the fort. Listen, I know, I know. This is this is the key to streaming is one person leaving the stream. I know that. Yeah. Look, guys, I'm telling you, I did scale back. I was drinking on Monday night football, okay? Then we were getting Tuesday night football. I was drinking on that. Then we get Thursday night football. I am not. It's Wednesdays in the weekend. That's what I'm down to, okay? 
Am I not allowed to have that? In Saturdays is going to be very casual. Very casual. Just I'm, I'm actually having dinner with my in-laws tomorrow. So I might have a glass of wine. Am I allowed to have a glass of wine on a Saturday? Am I going to get shamed? Are you got you guys care more about my consistency with how much alcohol I drink than my picks and my touting? <laughs> I didn't know Denny was with Roto World. It was actually news to me. I heard it today. Pete, we need you to make it through the season. Good call. I'm going to make it through the season, guys. I get stronger as we go. Every Coors Light, every tequila on the rocks. Denny's filling in nicely for Pat going to grab a beer during the draft. That is a very Karain move there. Do not listen to these scale backers. No, for me, it was like, it. I was like falling into, and again, I'm not an alcoholic. I just enjoy drinking when I do the streams. The problem is I'm doing so many streams that I realize I actually have no problem not uh, drinking. I can go a long periods of time without drinking. Let me, uh, man, cut. Patrick Mahomes made it this far. I should have, I should have waited. Does the Rojo thing continue? Does the Rojo thing continue? Fournette is back. I'll do it for Pat. I'll do it for Pat. I'll take Ronald Jones. Um, and then wide receiver, Denny took Robbie Anderson before because of the matrix. And I will also take him <laughs> yes. not because of his weighted opportunity, but because of the matrix. Yeah, weighted opportunity. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do Madden simulation streams on Wednesdays as an excuse to drink. I already have excuses to drink on Wednesday. Yeah, so so let me get this straight. People are still <laughs> playing the Madden simulation streams. I mean, I'm not stream, but the Madden simulations on on, on DraftKings. This is an incredible. I so I was preparing myself mentally to get into it because I thought there wouldn't be a season for a while, you know? Yeah. But there is a, I don't know if people are aware, there is a season. <laughs> so you can go ahead and you can go play, you can go play the, the normal DFS, but people are still doing the the Sims. Yeah, no, and I, I know our, uh, I was talking to our buddy, uh, John Solis, and he was, he had floated the idea of like, hey, if the season does get shut down, Let's just like all go all in on these Madden Sims and just like draft teams. And, and I, and I'm with you. Like I would have been on board for something like that if we didn't have football, but it's like, we do have football. So I don't need the Madden Sims. Yeah, no, I mean, yes. Right. I, I, th that, um, you know, that itch has been scratched <laughs> yes. by the actual thing <laughs> that it was civic. Right. And so I, and I was really like, Pete, you don't understand. I was like trying to like get into the Madden Sim analysis game. I don't even know how you would get into that game. I don't want to talk about what I was doing to get into that game. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, it, it it was a dark it was a dark time. It was yeah. Well, I was the same way. Like I was playing League of Legends DFS. It was really fun when literally there was nothing going on other than Asian boys playing. A video game and i was like let's do this but then other things came back i get messaged they're like league of legends world championship is going on in korea why haven't you spoken about it i'm like well because i'm looking at terry mclaurin in the air yards by low model that's why <laughs> you can you can only dedicate so much of your brain to this I like okay uh i tried to become a college football thought leader uh for dfs and it didn't work out. You know why? Because I don't have time for that. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't get into that. Yeah. I, uh, again, I appreciate it as an alternative form of entertainment when we didn't have live sports, but we have live sports right now. So I, uh, I'm actually impressed. They must have had good success with it. Like there, there has to be underlying metrics driving their decision to continue hosting those. Uh, I, I don't even understand how you, I don't, unless, unless the, do people have like databases of, of how these players have performed? In I have no idea. I guess. Yeah. What? Maybe they're looking at, I guess you'd have to like reverse engineer, like the standard deviation of performance. I, I honestly don't even know where you would start. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. The rest of the stream is Denny and I figuring out how to crack the code of the Madden DFS game. Right. So I, I have to admit something. I actually played uh, like a $3 Madden DFS thing a few weeks ago. And 
Wait, what does it say? No. He's saying that they're because for a while they were all free roll contests, and he's saying they're now offering paid contests for Sims. That is crazy. That's right. And I played it. I paid a three dollar one, and I <laughs> and I thought I put together like an amazing lineup, and then one of the quarterbacks rushed for like 130 yards. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't understand how you project that or like. Are you the the other thing I, I was getting tagged in tweets because apparently Patrick Laird was performing well in multiple uh sim games. Uh so that was my other reference point for it. Joe King, I promise I'll never say Asian boys again. I'll never say Asian boys. That's my promise to you. Asian boys never again. Asian boys never again. <laughs> <laughs> Asian boys never again is the name of your next album. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> You okay? That was Daddy said it. This is that gone off the rails. Come on, jeez, Daddy. Uh, okay, you, ha you haven't even said anything about my Seattle Supersonics. Team. No, okay. I meant to. The chat was talking about it earlier. Someone said they were going to picture you in this shirt now. Whenever they listen to the podcast, talk us through this hipster piece of uh, apparel you're wearing. So I only like dead sports teams. This is this is the thing about me. So I, I have I have a lot of expo stuff. I have two expos t-shirts. I have a couple expos hats. I have this is my first Sonics thing. I'm trying to think of other dead teams. What, who were some other dead teams? That, oh oh I have a I have the um, XFL Tampa Bay uh, hat. We need to get you a Houston Oilers hoodie, maybe. Oh I need an oil. Yes, I do need an Oilers. I mean I mean the thing is like. Like the, the whole like oil thing, I, you know, it just, I don't know. I don't know if I can get behind it, but I love the <laughs> colors. I love the, and they are love, sick color. They are great color. I love the colors and I love Warren moon. Uh, and I love the fact that they were a, a very low T uh, pass heavy offense. Yeah. They, uh, I do have, um, someone mentioned this one. I actually do have um, a Vancouver Grizzlies hat and I like that hat a lot. That was a sick logo. Wait, uh, it's, it, I don't remember it too well. Oh, I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. The other thing that this this stuff coincides with, like you're sure the Vancouver Grizzlies is that um, starter jacket era. You know when we we yes. all had those jackets. Yes. Here's that. Like this logo is so cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember that. By the way, Antonio Brown is a buck. I hate it. Thanks. Thanks. I hey, hate it. Thank you, Adam Schefter, for reporting that. But I do, in fact, hate it. Literally, I, I hate it. Let's hear it is. Let's I mean, read this I mean Mike Evans might be droppable. Antonio Brown and the Bucks have reached an agreement on a one-year deal per sources. Language still has to be finalized. COVID protocols passed, but Brown is likely to make his Bucks debut in week nine against the Saints. Denny, let's say it together in three, two, one. Thanks. Thanks. I, I hate it. it. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, it's so it's so disgusting. Like you and me, we love Mike Evans. Like we've gone to our rooftops and shouted yeah. for Mike Evans to get 14 targets a game. He's been living, subsisting solely on touchdowns this year. This is not good for his target. No, shirt. it's it's really bad. I mean, I, I was kidding about droppable, but I mean, you're okay. So with when Antonio Brown is it was even even this week, are you starting Chase Claypool or are you starting Mike Evans? Wow. Because wow. I'm starting, I'm starting Claypool, and I don't, I don't really feel bad about it. I am getting, and I, and I know I'm, uh, you know, I'm falling into watch the tape territory, but I'm getting, and and I'm falling into my own narrative, but I'm getting like Odell Beckham second half of 2014 vibes from Claypool, where he just scorches the earth, and week after week we're like, I can't play him, like it's, it's a little, you know, fluky, and he just burns you week after week. I just feel like Claypool is going to go on a massive tear right now. He is the number one there's I mean they were waiting for a number one to emerge because obviously Juju is not it. And and Deontay Johnson is constantly banged up. So, you know, they were waiting for someone and, and he's it. He's it. Yeah. For sure. Uh Denny, can you see the chat up? I know you have it on your phone. I don't know if it allows you to see the chat. Uh I yeah, sometimes. I mean, okay. Oh, only when I pull it up only though. When I mean you pull it up, yeah. Okay, I have to run to the bathroom here, so I was gonna let you hold it down with the chat. But if you can't, well, oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I want to make sure you you can see it here. Okay, I can. I Do can you see, see the comments? Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to find the most recent one. 
No, I'm just making sure you you have some stuff to talk about. I'll be back in 30 seconds. That's right. Okay, I I have it. I got it. Okay. All right. So what do we what do we got here? We got uh, Brady to AB. I guess that one touchdown did it for Tom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there there was a moment last season when the Patriots signed Antonio Brown and he played against the Dolphins and he had a he had a good game where you thought, oh man, like he's he's the number one you know, receiver in fantasy football from here on out. Like it was, it, it, fe- it felt like a done deal. You felt like, you know, Edelman is done. Like Edelman is not fantasy relevant anymore. Anybody who drafted Antonio Brown in the second round in 2019, it, it's going to pay off for them. I hated it. And then of course, Antonio Brown uh, did like 15, just horrific, awful things. Which I guess uh, I guess doesn't doesn't matter, and here's 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 why. Uh, nothing matters, and that, that that would be why. All right, what do we got here? Um, I'm from Ohio and got bullied for wearing a Browns starter jacket. My mom bought me a Panthers starter jacket from TJ Maxx. <laughs> I st- I was still bullied. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> did you, what? What did you have a starter jacket, Denny? Uh, uh, well, did, uh, our, our our buddy Paul says I'm from Ohio and got bullied wearing a Browns starter jacket, which I you know I don't. You're from Ohio. My mom bought me a Panther starter jacket, and he was still bullied. It was like second year uh, of Carolina of the Panthers, I guess, in, in 1998. Uh, yes, I did have one, Pete. It was uh, of course the Miami Dolphins. Okay, the Miami Dolphin one was sick. I never had one of the super cool ones. I had the Colorado Avalanche starter jacket, which no one's going to rank that in their power rankings of best starter jackets. But just the entire overall aesthetic of those here, I just started, you know, this reminds me, the New Orleans uh, or the the Hornets one was flames. Charlotte, I, guys, I, uh, guys, Pete, I had a, a Hornets a jacket and uh, I mean, a, a starter, right? And, yeah. Along with the Dolphins. And I only got it because it was cool. I had a, I had a, a a Hornets hat and a Hornets jacket because you know the Zoomers will never understand. But uh, the Hornets were the cool team back then because they had Larry Johnson, they had uh, Alonzo Mourning, yeah, Muggsy Bogues, Muggsy Bogues. They were like they were like the the young rebellious team, right? I mean, they weren't going anywhere, but you know it was they were fun to watch. Uh, they were kind of edgy, right? For uh, sure. And and so you know the kids really like the Hornets. So I got a Hornets jacket, and I come to school one day. This is I was in sixth grade. I'm wearing my Hornets starter jacket, and this kid comes up to me and he goes, "I love that jacket, man. That jacket's tight." And I I swear to God, unironically, I because I've never I, I at yeah. that time I had never heard the term tight before to to to, to equate with cool, right? And I go for sure. I go. No, if it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you took him literally. I, I, I mean, I, and the kids started laughing. I was like, "What? <laughs> so funny? This fits fine. You're saying it's tight." That's so good. Oh man! All right, let me see if I can find this. So someone said, "If you had a Bulls or Raiders back in the day, you were badass." I'm gonna see if I can get you to revise this statement. I'm gonna pull up a photo of myself and my brother from a stage photo my mom dragged us to. In the mid '90s, okay, at a place called Kitty Candids. <laughs> that is funny. Wow, that's my brother in the Nuggets, me in the Bulls. Do you take back your statement, John, that I was a badass wearing my Bulls Michael Jordan? Was uh, it was it the black jersey? Is that what they were wearing? Yeah, the black. I mean, the black was very cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, the the black jersey was 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 cool and and that was new that was they brought that uh they brought that back or not br- brought that back but they they started wearing that when jordan came back from retirement yeah and yeah because because he came back as 45 there for a second and then switched and yeah that kit was uh was yeah was it a little short-lived what the the black the, bl- the black yeah yeah no, i think so i think so it uh, wasn't though the I think the oh maybe the one you're thinking of was like the black pinstripe one pins, right pinstripe yeah. yes but well, that was the year that they won seventy two games or whatever yeah um all right I uh, I'm not going to show that photo anymore that, that, uh, that, that, that's, that's <laughs> I, I used to I used to wear a lot of NBA jerseys I I had a I had a Penny Hardaway 
Um, I had a shack. I, I was a, I was a, a, a bandwagon magic fan, of course. Dude, look at how I had never seen this one with oh. the full hornet on the front. That's tight. <laughs> That's real tight. Here, there's one. There's a vintage one for you. The this is like the super vintage starter jackets. These aren't the '90s starter jackets. No, but I like those a lot. Wow. Some oh. of these like art that like some of them were not cool. Like this Lakers one is not cool at all. Oh, that's that's uh, it's horrible. You know, but yeah, and, and the the Lakers in the '90s were not cool. Yeah. Do 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 you remember like the Lakers were like oh yeah right like the the team that used to be good. Oh yeah no they, yeah they were bad they I remember Magic Johnson I think made a comeback at, at some point in like 1995 or six is that am I off base there? Magic Johnson I think Magic Johnson came back. Did like, he really? Like out of retirement. I might have missed that. Man. And and it made the the Lakers relevant for like 15 minutes. But besides <laughs> be, besides that I would I I didn't like the Lakers were a non entity in the NBA. They were. Uh, they really back, were back then uh, until until Kobe and Shaq. That was it. Oh, do you remember these the the North Carolina like warm up mm. jackets? Those were kind of cool. Yes, you know what? One time, uh, one of the only uh, University of Maryland basketball games I went to was in the late nineties with um, when they played the Car the Tar Heels with uh, Jerry Stackhouse and Rasheed Wallace. That was that was a that was a fun fun game. Someone in the chat said, did you used to box the top of your hat back then as well? I remember getting one of those things from the store lids. And I don't know if this is exactly what you meant, but it was for the curve. And you stuck it in the hat and it made it like made the curve permanent. Because you like back then you'd get the flat bill and you'd be like, no, I don't like this. And I'd sit there and get my curve yeah. all nice and tight. So it was like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right, right. You look like a, a relief pitcher uh, on the <laughs> on the Braves in 1996. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watching, you know, John Smoltz on the mound, just like with the narrowest. And my mom would be like, "I can't see your eyes." And I'm like, "No, this is how I have to have it. This is this is my life, mom. <laughs> this is my this life. Is, this is this is who I am." Yeah, um, yeah. He said Magic came back from HIV treatment, right? Yeah, that now it, it sounds uh, familiar here um yeah i i, I remember because you know because i i didn't get into the nba until i was like like 10 years old and by that time he was he was gone like magic was had retired and then he came back and i was like oh right the old the old guy from the lakers he's back look at that emmett smith and the cowboys won like it's not cool but it is it is funny i really uh, I, I really despised cowboys fans at the time so I think like the for my what separates them for me is the color palette. Like the ones with just like really like darker color palettes like aren't cool. But then you pull up like this Suns one, like the purple with the orange is sweet. Yes, the, the, the Suns were kind of an edgy team too with with Charles Barkley and Dan Marley. Dan Marley was tight. He, I, I rooted so hard for the Suns in their in their finals against against Chicago because yeah, I, I'm I'm a hater. And, and, like naturally i'm a hater so i wanted the, the bulls to lose um and uh i was i remember i was like inexplicably devastated by the suns losing i had no rooting interest all season except for when they made it to the, the finals for sure uh do you want to try to get in one more draft together here yeah i i yes i would like to do that and i will not mess it up this time no it's, it's okay man uh, there's a lot going on here a lot going on in this economy in, in this economy exactly okay right, I'm, ready. I'm ready all right let me let me make sure denny has promised not to misclick denny are you ready here in three two one oh i think we're good i think we're good are we sure oh no oh look denny denny tell me you got in i mean I've I did it as quickly as I could. It seemed like you got in. Yes, Denny's in. One I'm five. In. Denny is in. All right. You have the three. I have the five. Okay. All right. All right. We can right. we can mess with this. I, is, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stack like I'm gonna stack like Davis Maddock here. <laughs> yes, David. Oh, actually, we should when when we're done with this one, let someone had asked us to 
talk about the FFWS fantasy football world series. I don't know if Denny wants to talk about it, but we could in fact talk about it for a second. Sure. You're doing better this quarter, right? <laughs> we, hey, we were shit the first quarter too. Yeah, I was terrible. I was, I was embarrassingly bad. Yeah. I, yeah. I, so I have Justin Jefferson. He went crazy. I had Madison who had a nice week a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel, I feel pretty good, but I did take Zach Ertz cause it's, as you know, Pete, it's uh, tight end premium. It is tight end premium. People forget that. And anytime you can draft a guy who's getting 1.2 yards per target, you got to do it. <laughs> uh, what do you think PP Pants does here at 101? Okay, he did take Kamara. PP Pants? <laughs> my kid, my kids literally call each other that. Okay. Um, does Xavier have any good? Whoa, Derrick Henry goes number two. I guess I will take that's how Kareem Hunt. Think. Um, does Xavier have any new, uh, jokes? Be Last I had heard the, the knock, knock jokes were pretty good. Right. The, um, he does not, he doesn't have new jokes. Okay. Let me, let me make my pick real quick. All right. All right. You know what? You guys give me a hard time. I'm taking Devonte Adams. There you go. You touted it all year and then come <laughs> week seven, you want to go away from it. Well, no, no, no. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, no, he, I, I don't, I don't know if he, he has new jokes, but he does have new, um, what he calls builds, which, you know, we, I, I think of roster. Oh, I'm up. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Um, oh God. All right. I think, I think, God, you know, uh, I, I feel like Chris Carson is too, is too good to pass up here. I like Carson. I'm, I I got to go with him. Okay, so so Xavier talks about his Minecraft builds. Yeah. Could, so he'll come up to me and be like, "Dad, I have a new build," and I'm like, "God, I wish you were talking about fantasy." <laughs> <laughs> you just want him showing you like this double stack with a bring back that you That's can right. be really excited about. Oh man. <sighs> um. Oh you're man, up. I'm. You're up. Crap! I missed that. Kelsey went. Um. I guess I'll get a share of Kittle. Although it does, I mean, is it is the be, the Belichick narrative that he's going to sell out to stop your number one option? I mean, that's what, yeah, that's, that's what, what they tell me, Denny. That that's <laughs> everybody knows it, <laughs> except me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, he but he's unstoppable, so it's okay. He's true. He's uh, he's what we like to call a grown ass man, Denny. He he is confirmed a grown ass man. He is he is grown in every way. PP pants. Starts with Kenny Galladay. See what he does here coming on the wraparound. Hey, you see, uh, you see Dick Rod had a good game last night. Dude, Dick Rod crushed, man. Man. Almost almost had a touchdown. I know. Dick Rod almost penetrated the end zone. I was really, <laughs> I just thought, I thought it was going to happen. A lot of opportunity in that offense, and Dick Rod is seizing it. I am on the clock. I should make a pick very quickly. Uh, I think I'm going to get a Mike Davis share here. I don't know if you've heard, but he's ninety percent CMC, Denny. I'm look. If there's ever an argument that running back doesn't matter, it's Mike Davis. I mean, Mike Davis. People were not drafting him, myself included, in twenty round drafts because we didn't know for sure who the handcuff was between him and Reggie Bonifon. It's right. like, and right. he's just absolutely destroying. I'm going off the reservation. I don't think that's off the reservation. No, I took Will Fuller because I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to stack that that Packers game. I like it. I like it, Denny. Yeah, we're being sharp as a bit. It's our new thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, I'm up. Okay, you are up. See, I, I like I want Aaron Rodgers here. I think I have. To... Do it, Denny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm st I'm going all in on this game. I'm going. Screw all in. the consensus rankings. Oh God. Okay, focus, focus, focus. All right, I'm taking, I'm taking Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, I'm doing it. Okay, we're all in on the Packers Texans. All right, uh, Mahomes goes. I, ugh, I need to take a wide receiver. I'm gonna. This is my guy, I guess, this week. I'm just drafting Tyler Lockett everywhere, even though he is not the grown ass man in that offense. I think that game. I think we're gonna see like 70 points in that game. Yes, yes. I mean, the 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 Cardinals have like a, a a mediocre pass defense. Yeah, 
They're, they're, I mean, it's fine. It's not good. It's fine. And the, what I was reading, Mike Clay had an article. They've been a lot better on the perimeter than they have underneath. So Ooh, uh, a little, little locket. And it, it pains me. Like, I love DK Metcalf. He's like, you you know, back in the day, like, watching Des Bryant or Gronk score touchdowns or even Marshawn Lynch fell in that category. There's like this visceral response when yes. they score. I get that feeling when I watch DK Metcalf score now. Same. I mean, he's, he, he feels a little Josh Gordon ish. Yeah. You know, the, the, the way like the, the physical domination. Yeah. He's, he's so fun to watch it. Uh, do you watch the, um, uh, damn it. I'm messing up his name. I think it's Caleb Cashman who does the videos for Seahawks Twitter and works with Russ Wilson on the hype videos. Like, dude, he's so good at video editing. Uh, it's yeah. so fun well, to watch those. Yeah. Those are, those are great. Wait, what's his, what's his handle? I, I feel like I'm at it. It's something Cashman. I think I oh, need to I get thought, this right. Wait, are we not? Is it not Thanos? No, you're right. Caleb Thanos. Sorry. I was mixing him up with Ken Cashman who does, uh, Oh, Pete, Proto where did you, miss, did you miss your pick? Did I miss my pick? Yes, I missed my pick. I was too busy, too busy looking up Josh Cashman, aka at Caleb Thanos. Um, and Sorry, I missed my pick. It's all right, it happens. All right, I'm up. I'm up. All right. I'm fine with a naked Josh Allen. Sure. Although I would have much have preferred to have Russell Wilson. Um Man, I, oh God! Oh, oh. Russell was right. Yeah. You know what? We just talked about him. We just talked about him, Pete. Yeah, I'm taking Chase Claypool. Do it. Total grown ass man. Yes, he is. He is a man, and his ass is grown. I will say though, I hear this report about him going down to Juju's apartment and stealing his snacks. I'm like, that's just not cool, man. <laughs> 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 just not oh, cool. Oh, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Wait, do I have to take a tight end? If you don't have a tight end, you definitely have to take a tight end, I believe. Dang it. All right. All right. I'm going with my man, Hunter Henry. I heard his matchup actually has gotten better recently. <laughs> if you watch the film, you would agree, but you, you refuse to watch. You haven't watched the game in the last six years. Denny, have you seen the movie The Matrix? Because I'm about to draft Robbie Anderson. <laughs> So his <laughs> is he they call him Mr. Anderson in that movie. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's really the only reason I've drafted uh, drafted him in any of these is because of that movie. Yeah, I just I want people to know that that that's my process. Um are you you're done here, Denny, right? Yeah. I'm done. Adam, so, yeah. I like your team better than mine. I uh mine is a little uncorrelated. I have two Panthers, but you know what it happens. It happens in, you know, the pumpkin spice drafts, man. They can they can come at you fast. Yeah, um, I'm a little nervous about the Packers being able to just run wild on the Texans who have no run defense. Um, and, you know, because I have the, the, the Rodgers-Adams stack, but, you know, I guess it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Guys, if you have uh, any any questions, I will I'll pass along one more or two more questions to Denny, and then we are going to wrap this up. I have had way too many light beers on an empty stomach, Denny. I need to I need to soak this up a little bit. Yes, I I, I need some dinner as well. I may order Taco Bell. We you never know. Well, have you? Okay, that's uh, I haven't had Taco Bell in a while. Uh, please don't get me hyped on Taco Bell right now, because boy, could I go for a Crunchwrap Supreme. Yeah, well, I, I haven't had it since uh, last week. Wait, you did? What's your What's your Taco Bell order? Oh, it's really boring, as you would expect. It's, it's just uh, like nineteen soft tacos. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is. Um, <laughs> it's uh, I usually get like three chicken tacos, soft, um, yeah. and then uh, and then two bean burritos. You are so basic. Yeah, man, I am. <laughs> And, but that that's the thing. I used to get that that same order at the student union in college. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of, like, I grew up in Colorado. I went to school in San Diego, and there's fast food everywhere. Like, around me and, and outside of Boston, there's just, like, not a ton of fast food outside of, like, McDonald's or Burger King. Like, I, I have this hankering for, like, Wendy's or Taco Bell or some of these, like, slightly – you know, one B, yeah. you know, fast food chain. They're just not by me. So I, uh, I haven't had it in a while. Wait, wait, wait. So when you order 
from like DoorDash or whatever? What do you get? Um, we do. We just have like local stuff around here. So we'll do we'll do Chinese. There's places that do good subs, um, like uh, uh, cheesesteak subs and stuff like that. We'll get like there's like upscale gastro pub places that good do good takeout. And then you have like lots of options if someone wants a salad and someone wants salmon, like you can do that. So um, stuff like that. Can I tell you how gross uh, that sound? Uh, uh, what do we say? Gastro, <laughs> gastro pub, <laughs> gastro pub. Is that a thing? It's a. I mean, I think that's the name I've I've heard. That 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 sounds disgusting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ray Sif did ask. He wants to hear about the fantasy football World Series. So, for those of you guys who aren't familiar, so these guys over here, they started this Invitational and. Basically, it's a series of four drafts that culminates with a championship, and each draft has a different theme to it. So the first one was standard. We did that draft uh, before the season. It was a very boozy draft. The second draft was a few weeks ago. It was a best ball draft for weeks five through eight. Also, Denny, a very boozy draft. And then um, we're going to have a super flex one coming up for Q3, and then an auction draft. That's going to be wild for Q4 followed by the championship. And so we have a lot of fun teams in here. We got Ben Gretchen, Leone, myself and Pat under ship chasing. We got some high stakes grinders like Justin Herzig, Wade, FF Link, Scoundrel, um, Noah Riddell. And then we have Davis Maddock. Of course we have Curtis Patrick. We got Waz. So Denny, what has your experience been like in the FFWS? Uh, it's the hardest fantasy format I've ever had to compete in. <laughs> <laughs> like hands down and 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 uh, and i like i i really enjoy it really happy to be a uh, part of it but wow the the league is so good like this this league is incredibly savvy you 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 can't get get by on anything like you can't get over on anybody for anything in this league and um it's it's super tilting I mean, you know, I'm in, I'm in like the Apex Writers League and other and other leagues where I'm I'm used to pretty good competition. This is off the charts good, and I respect everybody in it, except for Davis. And then <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it kidding. is it is legitimately like super sharp. Like so, Justin Hertzig, he won in round one. I don't know if you guys know him. If you play on FanDuel a decent amount, you'll see his username just incredibly sharp uh if he didn't have a good first quarter but noah riddell is in here he's a high stakes uh ffpc grinder he is incredibly sharp denny and and pat and i did not do well in quarter one no. but we're doing better here you know ship chasing we're up in second uh denny's here uh in the middle so we're, we're in the mix I'll, I'll pull up our teams real quick before we we head out here let's see uh denny's team Ooh, geo bernard denny you just lucked into Gio Bernard week. I yeah, it was the most hateful pick I I made throughout the whole draft. Like I I you know thinks I hate it doesn't even come close to how I felt drafting Gio Bernard because <laughs> at the time he wasn't seeing anything. He wasn't getting garbage time touches. He wasn't getting targets. Um, but yeah, uh, so at, at one point, Pete on Sunday I was in first. <laughs> just, yeah, just for the record. <laughs> You should have been if Alexander Madison did remotely anything last that was, week. That was devastating for me in that league. That was that was bad. So yeah, you have a you have a nice team here. I, I like your team getting Gio Bernard to step up here. Uh, obviously, you're going to get Kamara in the lineup. Jamal Williams with Aaron Jones banged up. Like you might bink the zero running back targets for this quarter. I feel like I did okay on the zero zero RB uh, targets. I. I, uh, you know, Ertz hurts and also Ertz hurts, but also, uh, Lamar Jackson. I mean, yeah. I, thought, I thought I got a good, uh, you know, I thought, I thought I got him pretty cheap and it turns out I did not get him cheap enough. <laughs> yeah. It is also like, so the thing that we were all weighing in this draft is it only goes for four weeks. And so you're having to decide what is the penalty I'm going to assign to people who have bye weeks. And so, you know, Denny got Lamar Jackson at a pretty good deal here because of the bye week. You know, you're only getting him for three weeks. But that said, you have Tannehill in Minshew, so you can cover your quarterback weeks uh pretty easily this week. Yeah, I mean uh Lamar has not registered for my team <laughs> in, in in the first two weeks uh you know because I have Minshew and, and Tannehill. So that that feels good, you know, to to go out on a limb 
and take uh, take Lamar Jackson and then not get anything from him. You know, that's great. Yeah, Pat and I are going to have a tough week this week. Our two Dolphins are on bye. We got Dobbins on bye. We got Trey Burton, who is a nice pickup for us on bye. But our team's, uh, it's pretty solid. Hopefully Zeke can have a good game. We got Ruggs and Herbert down here. McKissick, who apparently is the starting running back for the Washington football team. Who knew, Denny? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Roto World has uh, um, hazed me by <laughs> making me watch a lot of Washington games. And it's horrifying to watch McKissick line up in the backfield like as much or sometimes more often than Antonio Gibson. And um, unfortunately, he's really good out of the backfield as a pass catcher. So, Well, there you have it. That's the recap. We will be doing our quarter three draft coming up here in a couple weeks. If you guys want to watch us draft a super flex team, we will be hosting that on the ship chasing YouTube channel. That's the show I do uh, weekly with Pat Corain. Pat's also been doing... Uh, a stat chasing episode solo. He gets rid of me to delve into the stats, which is very sharp of him. It's it's very good. If you enjoy enjoy stuff like Ben Gretsch's stealing signals or yep. Lord Reeves's worksheet, you will really enjoy what Pat is putting out. I have the link to ship chasing in the show notes. Um, but I say we wrap it up here, Denny. My grown ass man's stomach is 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 rumbling. Yes, uh, yeah, just quickly. I I watch uh, Pat's. Uh, stat chasing video every week and i i make sure i watch that uh, i watch that i read ben gretch's stealing signals and that gives you a great overview of stuff that matters you know and and you know because not you know the production doesn't always matter as much as the opportunity and that's what these two things uh you know dive into so thank you for that stat chasing i really enjoy it yeah, no, Pat is crushing it over there. Uh, thank you to Denny. Obviously, um, it is shocking. Um, he does work at Roto World. I, I mean, I, I do forget it, Denny. I forget it all the time, and then I'm remembered. You do work at Roto World. I, I you know, I'm going to text you every few days and just please, my, please do. I work it, at Roto World. Yes, so please follow Denny on the Twitters, on the Roto Worlds, on the LTSs with his lovely co-host JJ all that good stuff. If you guys are watching on my YouTube and haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button, hit the likes, leave a comment. Tell us what you liked about the show, Denny. Uh, so for Denny and for myself, have a great weekend. Hopefully you guys have some dick rod in your lineups. We'll see you next time. <laughs>